All right, here we are again. It is the start of the week, and so yesterday I farmed pretty much all day. Um, Sundays is my board gaming day with my one of my, uh, my buds, and so I brought this down on my tablet and was farming. But alas, I have to drive home and obviously sleep. So it'll be interesting to see this morning how far behind I am from the guy who was keeping pace with me all day. Uh, I think we traded first on the festival uh, a couple of times, so we'll, we'll discover this together, how bad I am behind, and then whether or not I need to keep farming. Because if I'm 10 Astromons behind, it might be a little bit different, uh, difficult. Uh, so, hey look, the super evolution I th figured they would do. Uh, Woot. Let's do this. And... Let's get this stuff off the screen. Alright, let's see. 92. So I've got a good lead off of third place, but... 92. So we've got seven Astromons. That's not hard. Um... Hopefully, uh, we'll catch up, catch up to this uh, this guy today. We should be able to do that. That's that's not that big of a deficit. We'll do it for fun. Um, but yeah, let's see. Get some stuff out. So that's the one thing I don't do too in these capture festivals, and I should is you get a lot of these gems because of the stuff you you uh, you see. So uh, it does keep you up. I think we're still in the positive for the week uh, on gems. Um, but we shall see. The other hilarious thing is, is so you get first place on on the on the <laughs> on this, and look look at all these Fred requests. Like holy crap! And I would accept most of these, um, except for they're usually like you see, they're all like uh, brand new players, um, and most of these guys, you know, unfortunately they don't stick around, and I think that's that's unfortunate for the game. I'm not saying, you know, all of them don't, but like this one I'd probably accept because he's a level 40, but um, usually you just want your five friends on here to send them out each day for your daily, um, but having the 50, you know, Astro Gems that you get out of this as well um, is not bad, especially if you can get them all lined up, uh, this way you can, you can click them all, but I found that is actually really hard to do. Um, you basically would need to trash your friends list and then ha like add 50 friends almost immediately. But you can only fought, trash five friends, I think, either a day or an hour. I, I don't I don't remember. Because uh, the energy that I get anymore, um, just again, speaking from my how old my account is, right? Uh, the energy I get is kind of moot because of the uh, the gems that I'm that I'm holding on to. Uh, let's see, you need your fruit. So, but yeah, the, the capture festival's actually been going, going a lot, a lot better than, uh, I, uh, uh, thought it would. I mean, I knew, I knew my strategy going in would still work from, from last, uh, February, but I'm, I'm actually glad that, you know, for, for something to a talk about while I when I do these dailies and uh, something to show show people that uh, you know I'm a I'm strictly a free to play player. I mean, I I might pop buy one of the you know um, boosts for three bucks uh, for twelve hours, but there's you still don't need that. Like I've kept pace with this guy completely. Um, I've been in first place on here without the without this package. So once again, you know, I'll kind of cover it. This this Benedict package for the rare boost and whatnot. I mean, it does show, but like I said, I mean, I'm literally in first place, and I haven't I haven't spent any money, and you don't need to spend any money. Um, but let's get this summon out of the way. And three star. What do we get? I am Mowgli. All right. Too bad we already have you done. We have the weekly to start again. Got evolve. We might be able to knock that out after we're done. We're getting close here. I do need to pick it up with um, league battles. 
So we might do two today just to get it done. And today is going to be Astro Gems, which will be easy. And like I said, you know, going going through all this, the, the one thing I always, you know, I, I notice 100% is just how much free gems you'd get put out. That's why, again, when I say, you know, for for energy, you don't even, if you're farming this festival, you know, going on, you know, that, it's, or any of the festivals, you just you don't have to worry about it because of the, the sheer amount of gems that you, you get just, just by playing the game. And that's, again, that's, that at least shows me these developers don't, you know, over the years haven't, A, changed their mindset, and B, don't, you know, shove it down our throats like every other game. I, I really despise, and again, I don't play that too many mobile games. Um, there are some mobile games that I do like to go back to that are fun, but I just, I despise being literally, when I go out and do something and come back to the screen and they're like, bam, here, pay us money for this this shiny thing, and it's like $60 or some, some ridiculous amount, and you're like, like, <laughs> I literally just awestruck, you know, like, yes, let me just pull out my credit card real quick and just dump $60 on this thing and then have to pay another $60 to enhance that thing, you know, and it's just that, that spiral. The greed is just unbelievable. And I know I've talked about that, you know, a lot over the, over the, my videos, but at the same point, it just needs to be said again, singing this, the praises of this game, but at the end of the day. It's fun. We're, if, if you're playing Monster Super League um, and you're enjoying it, you know, that's all that matters. And that's that's literally what these games, it's a game. It's supposed to be entertainment, you know. So I'm having fun. One of my buddies, when I brought it over, he's all like, is that one of those games that you just put <laughs> put down and leave, let it run by itself? And I was like, yep. And he didn't roll his eyes, but he was kind of funny. He, just, he was just like, oh, one of those. And I was like, yeah, I mean... There are certain things in here that you don't AFK farm, but, you know, the teams that I have achieved, you know, I still, you know, had to work to get those, you know, so and that's that is investing the time in it, whether I'm, you know, paying attention to it or not, you know, but. And that's why, again, with the festivals, that's the one thing for me that I'm I'm proud of that, you know, if I really wanted to. And that's why I shared my advice with, with everybody. It's like, if you really wanted to, you could be first on that festival every single time. Like, that's, it's no question in my mind, you know, you do that. And I've, I've honestly thought about doing that all year. The only, the only problem I have is I'll run out. I definitely run, will run out of the uh, Capture Festival chips um, to catch the Mons with because uh, to maintain first and almost every single one is going to be over 400 chips every time. And, as as in my videos and we've seen you know i i've saved 500 plus chips well we're not even in this is day what what are we in three i think yeah day three of the festival and i've i've burned only like 100 100 plus chips just to get to to where i'm at so um and again, you know, I'm, I'm basically doing it for fun and to prove a point at the at this point. But the the thing about it is it's like the reward, though, for that is just unfortunately, it's not worth it. Those 20 extra tickets, you know, I'll get gold out of that. And I'm like, oh, man, we are just we are so, so strapped for gold. Let me tell you. Let's get some greeny in here. And I know I need to, I want to have a more of a variety, but again, with my weight, how, like how I, I look at the game, uh, since light and dark uh, Astromon are um, a little a bit harder to obtain, that's why you see most of my teams are like are like that. It's just, they're they're a little bit more harder to get, uh, so I put more weight on like the, what I try to build. Um, there are some great, you know, fire, water, and grass Astromon that you probably need to have you know, to do golems and things like that, the uh, harder golem. Um, once again, I will always, I will always direct you to somebody else who knows better than me that I've watched. And I believe is the channel was Son of Odin. Um, 
and he shows you again him using that team and going through it my only issue was once again is he's got a bunch of five stars man uh whether eh, you know it's his choice to put money into the game or whatnot i don't know how much free to play he is he is but um he has great videos and he shows you how those teams work and he'll he covers the you know the skills on each astrobon um and that's kind of why i don't bother making any kind of like review videos i thought about i know i i talked about it with with jubilee but i guess in this i could make my two cents about it you know jubilee is a great introductory re recovery astromon if you've got nothing else um her light uh, light astromon one uh is her light version excuse me words um i think is is the one that's worth it her her water version i think is just garbage you just you'll never use it <laughs> so it's it, it's one of those like that's my kind of quick and down and dirty of her and it's all though what you what you, what you play the game for you know um i thought about uh i made a clan just for myself so um i could just sit here and and do my own thing but i've been debating whether or not to actually join a clan in the game so i could start doing other content in the game um so i can have that information um i do like to you know when I'm asked questions, I like I, I'm one of those people that likes to either direct you to where you can find it, or um, have an answer, a definitive answer from myself. Like again, all my my opinions that I have on the stuff on here is you know, it's from playing the game for three years and, and assessing each feature that comes out. You know, it's not um, I'm not I'm not trying to blow smoke out my ass for nothing. You know, but. Um, and we have an interesting... Ooh, we're dropping down. I'm kind of glad that I put this, uh, my defense team like this so I could drop down. Um, it just makes, makes it so I don't have to fight all the tryhards all the time. <laughs> I don't know, that kind of sounds like I'm, I'm copping out or being a wuss or whatever, but at the same point, it's like, sometimes I just don't feel like fighting, you know, water, uh, Persephone and, um, who's the other one that's like a staple? It's like Water Persephone and somebody else. Well, I think it, not an Odin, but somebody else is just like, I really just don't. <laughs> I just don't care to fight the same troll team every time. But I also want to put my, I need to put my defense team back up specifically so we can, um, um, so I can kind of climb back up anyway uh, in the ranking, so I don't um, so I get better rewards. Because that's the other that's the downside of what I've done here is even though I'm making it easier to kind of just go through here, um, my rewards each week are kind of based on you know where I get to. So climbing back up is definitely where I might go on my defense team to um, to make it so I'm not attacked as often because trust me you throw four super evolutions in there and a hidden you know a hidden uh fifth one trust me people people don't mess with you it's actually pretty funny and they only mess with you on these times where they have uh wow that that silver actually lived through that damn Mona you slacking um but the you know like the the only on these where we have the SP uh, you know charged for your leader skill, um, do you find? Wow, she is just tanky, huh? All right, that guy put gems on that uh, uh, Horan. But yeah, so like again, so I I, I can kind of climb back up and get back into rewards so that we we kind of get more stuff, but. Ah, uh, easy. Why don't we just burn all our tickets for today? I'm not that behind in the festival. I can catch that up today. Um, and I kind of put this out there for, for people who get this far in the video, but uh, if you would like to see, um, you know, just... And again, it's going to be farming. Uh, it's not... It's definitely not going to be... Um, it's definitely not going to be anything entertaining i will say that much you know i'm gonna put like jazz music on in the background because a couple of years back i i actually uh streamed uh capture festival on twitch um but if you guys would like to just you know come to my twitch channel hang out and uh you know 
uh, see just farming a festival or something you know like i said i'll put it up on my twitch channel and just have jazz music going in the background and then these guys that's why you guys see i mean that's one thing you know it's it's not again gonna be that that entertaining it's just the same thing as what you guys are doing you know if you're out there farming but i don't know i've kind of put that out there i thought about doing it before or wait till the last day of the festival and it'd be like that you know and then you you know that's where you see i'd stream you know putting that stuff in but you guys just let me know if if that's something that you would uh would you would like to see maybe because again I'm, I'm debating whether i would go um i'm gonna go the distance for each festival just because i don't know it's just uh once again to prove a point and we'll see And this is the one thing I forgot to do. So um, going back to the arena right now. So then these SP days, um, this is one advice um, I can put out there. We, we've had her a couple of times, but uh, I don't have them on me. Let's go get them so I can show you this. I want to show this actually. Um, for those who, again, either serious or not, um, that you go through uh, even arena, there's the... There's a couple Astromon that I can r recommend for these SP ones because after you defeat the somebody right there, their hidden monster, if they have one uh, loaded in the background, will come out and they'll have full SP. So what you want is someone like um, our Druidus here who has the ability SP Siphon. Attack Siphon 30% of the SP. Now you're going to sacrifice this this slot. She's, she's okay. Um, she's a tank, uh, so you could use her... We've gotten her before, um, and this is a four-star rebirth festival. So, uh, if you want to try and shoot for her for these, uh, she's not bad. There are plenty others that have SP gems. Uh, I just happen to have her. I know Mona. I think it's Fire Mona. I'm pretty sure it's Fire uh, Mona. Hold on, and she's another tank. She has the same thing. Where? Did I pull. I must have, uh, wait. Oh my God, all the grab bags, get out of here. Yeah, she's right here. Um, yeah, so she's got it too. It's 20% of the enemy's SP, but it's the same thing. So uh, Fire Mona is a little bit easier to get, I believe, because of uh, you can summon her through um, just the regular banner or hatching her through eggs. But And then you can go out and just catch Mona on the Pagos Coast and you'll have your tier, you know, your evolution three, excuse me. Um, so she's another good example um, as a as an SP gem or SP uh, siphon for this. So let's pull her out. Where are you? You were an attacker, weren't you? Yeah, you were a sapper. 80% chance to sap, but she has the silence. Silence is good. So both the light and the dark versions are have good chances to do at least a sap and a and a silence. You throw SP gems on her. I've 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 had fun with Druidus here. Um, I might actually take her out. Um, and use her for farming uh, evolution materials. She's decent. She's not She's not my Fenrir or Dark Mona, I will say that, but she's at least a little decent. But um, just to show this off on here. Uh, let's just swap these guys out. Uh, let's bring Tina for that and my Druidus. So again, what's nice about this, if you're playing up on the higher tiers, and you might already know this, but again, some some people who who aren't who are like, ah, oh, how do I con? Excuse me, had to sneeze there. Sorry. Um, you know, how do I counter the the guys coming out? Um, you you know, one of the ways is you clear clear one person. Here, I'm just gonna clear all of them, but they come out, you know, fully SP. Well. There you go. Now you're now you don't got to worry about them, you know, hitting your whole team. And I bring that up only because again, those try hard teams if they have like let's say their water Persephone hidden, uh, you know, your whole team could basically be uh petrified for a turn and they'll get, you know, you'll get hit. You, you you'll just lose. It's a perpetual state of hell. That's that's what I call it. Is you are constantly CC'd and it's not fun for anybody. It's like yeah, you got the win, but I didn't feel <laughs> I didn't feel good at the end of that. 
but and that and then like I said, this also works for um, this the other uh, arena league that that we have the one where we got the three waves. But there's there's ways to cheese that too, so you can get around people's parties. Um, once again, it's a it's not a bad it, it's not a bad idea, and I like having more content in the game to play when it does come out. But it's still one of those unfortunate. Um, unfortunate kind of there's just I, I'm trying to find the words I want to use on that specifically it's just it's unfortunate that it's it's not as fun as you would think it would be is what I'll I'll say with it because also again thinking about it like having that's 15 Astromon to throw into it not all Ast all Astromon in this game are not created equal so it's it there are there's a way to get around somebody's really crappy team or excuse me, really good team to go fight their really crappy team they put up on there. And it's it's like only people who have played the game long enough are going to have, you know, decent, decent enough teams, you know, to, to make it any any amount of competitive that they were looking for with it. The arena system is 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 fun in the way it is, but just like how Pokemon devolves into, you know, there are there's a tier list for a reason. These are the best ones you want. You want to go play competitive Pokemon on the Game Boy? I said Game Boy on the <laughs> on the games. Uh, you will. Uh, these are the mon these are the uh, the Pokemon you're gonna build, and then there's no question about it. And it's just the teams, right? So, I think it was with the one the video I found with the sock from Generation Five that was. <laughs> That was just this troll <laughs> back and forth. Um, like, it it was like a never-ending battle, and it was great. That was probably one of the most entertaining things I've seen out of Pokemon in years. But going a little bit longer today just to try and knock out all these on here. We're getting close again to having 150 uh, League Battle or League Chips to... Um, to basically have uh, another gleam. Um, again, I'm not too worried about getting up on, uh, you know, staying up on that. You should, honestly, you should be doing that every week and and getting the league medals for your gleams. It's the fastest way you're going to evolve your Astromon. Um, and this is outside of being given, um, outside of being given, either given gleams or. Or getting them through like the Nez Pass and stuff like that. Your your best bet here. Oh, he didn't even get her. She's a tank. That's that's why that was like that. But unfortunately, y'all aren't gonna live. So, um, outside of getting it uh, in other ways, right? Your guaranteed gleam each week is gonna be from from the league. So definitely go out there and uh, be doing your league um, and getting your medals. It's how you're going to get your, your Astromon up uh, faster than having to capture them all. So, um, But that looks like that's going to be it. Let's just double check everything here. Tower of Chaos, I still I still need to get into that too. Um, nine days till Vitra comes back. Oh, let's check. I think I only got 200 points here. Hold on. Yeah, we're at 282. So this is your other way of getting your getting a gleam. I don't put any weight on the skill books on this. Getting up to 1500 on here. Again, if you've if you've got the teams or whatnot, and you're gonna be going, this stuff might be you know good for you. But for what for my purposes, again, this is another good good thing to get a gleam. This is one purchase a week. You don't see this guy a week every week. So I I. I mean, nine days, It's that's outside of the time frame, you know, so who knows. But I'm going to stop my rambling there. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. And uh, good luck in your uh, capture festival if you're out there, and we will see you later.